Mr. Gershenko, you're in the Maidan where Ukrainians stood up for their freedom, for their independence years ago. Do you think Ukraine can do that again successfully, can stand up against Russia? Yes. Ukrainians have stood up twice to the pro-Russian regime of Viktor Yanukovych, but now we have a much bigger challenge and we need your help. We need the help of the United States, particularly with weapons. We need even more weapons to expand this offensive. The U.S. and NATO are sending weapons, but Russia is still gaining territory in the east, in the southeast. They have most of Ukraine's coastline. They want all of it. Are you getting enough weapons to stop Russia? No. What the U.S. and allies are providing absolutely is not enough. It is not enough at the moment. I will give you one example. During the Second World War, President Roosevelt provided the Lend-Lease Act, and he gave Britain assistance worth $390 billion until 1948. Now compare that to 300 to $800 million being given now. That's not enough against Russia because Russia is receiving 1 billion euro from its oil and gas from Europe per day. Something called the Buy Me a Fighter Jet campaign, a website to, to in effect raise money. Each jet costs $25 million. Uh, is it working? Are, are you getting some of the world's wealthiest people to help? Well, this campaign was actually started by Sean Penn. He wanted to raise $300 million to buy planes for Ukraine. But what I would prefer is that the U.S. and NATO allies would give us their Soviet airplanes that NATO operated. Our pilots know how to fly these planes. We would prefer to use the American planes because they would be better against the Russian aggression. But it would take several months to train our pilots. We would need the will of the American people to give us these planes. The U.S. and NATO have about 70 Soviet airplanes. That's what we need. After the war, what will it take to rebuild this country? How many years? How much, con how much money? To rebuild Ukraine, we will need a lot of money. The Ukrainian government estimates that we will need about 600 billion U.S. dollars. That is the extent of the damage that Putin has dealt to Ukraine. We hope that the U.S. and its allies will give Ukraine 300 billion. That's the money that's frozen from Russian banks and the Russian Central Bank. That will help rebuild Ukraine. We have hundreds of bridges blown up, tens of thousands of buildings destroyed, tens of thousands of Ukrainians killed. Mr. Garashenko, thank you so much for joining us tonight. Uh, I wish you good luck in all that you're doing. Thank you.